In this video, we're going to look at lines and, and parts of lines and what happens when you join together those parts of lines. What's the result? Uh, a line is a set of points. And each point of the set is said to be on the line. So there's a point. It's on the line. Point on the line. And we use the arrows to indicate the line goes on forever in both directions. The next symbol if is called a half line, AB. If I were to put a point on line AB, we'll call it point A, it divides this line into three parts. And those three parts being the point itself. And then we'll take the things to the right and then to the left. So you end up with three kind of distinct parts. So if we take this, what we did, half line, it would be an open circle because it would not include the line itself, and then all the points to the right. It does not include the point right here, but it includes all the points to the right. That's a half line. If you want to include that point A, then we have what's called Array AB. In Ray AB, we include that end point where we did not with the half line. Now don't confuse this, cannot be called Ray BA. The first letter in your um, abbreviation there has to be the starting point, the point that you have. Uh, if you wanted Ray BA, then it would be starting with B and going to A. This is Ray BA. It could also be Ray BA like this, too, if you wanted. B is a starting point in this case. Line segment AB means we have a ray, and then we have a stopping point. So this is Ray AB. Starts at A, goes along, and stops at B. It doesn't go on forever like a ray does. So now, what happens if we join some of these together? Now, this would be then your ray AB and your ray CA. And you want, now in this case, the intersection, the points they have in common. Well, let's look and see. If we take ray AB, goes like that, and ray CA goes like that, what do they have in common? They have, they both contain A, they both contain C, and all the points in between. So the solution here is the line segment AC, or the line segment CA, either way you want. Now, next problem, if we take ray um, BC, that would start here, go this way, and ray CD, that would start here and go this way, and we take their intersection, well, what do they have in common? Well, so far you don't see any place where they coincide, but remember this ray BC keeps on going. So what's their intersection? Once it starts at C, they both have that, and it goes on. So it ends up being ray CD. That's what they have in common. Another intersection problem. This is the ray BA, ray BA, and... Ray CD. Here's Ray BA. Ray CD. I lost my C. Ray CD would go from here out. And what do they have in common? There is nothing they have in common no matter how much I extend them. So now the intersection is the null set. The null set. Over here we have the, inner, the line segment AB. And that's this piece right here, and we have the line segment BD is this piece right here, and we want the union now of those two, the union of those two. Uh, it's a disjunction. So it would be everything that's in this first one and the next one. Would that include everything then from A, including B, all along here to D. So you would end up with the line segment AD. 
How about the la next one? Line segment AB again. That's this one right here. And line segment BD. That would be... Let's get another clear space for ourselves here so we can see it easily. Line segment AB. That would be this piece right here. And line segment BD. That would be this piece right here. But this time, we like to have the intersection of those two. So what do they have in common? They both have point B. And points are done with capital letters. Last one would be AC and line segment AC and line segment, uh, no, I'm sorry, Ray CD. Ray CD. And we want the union of those, the, the disjunction of those two. What would that be? It'd be all these points here, including this point right here, on it like that. So you would end up with a ray. And the ray would be ray A. You could call it ray AC. You could call it ray AD. You could call it ray AB if you wanted to. All those would be good answers. Okay. Hope that helps you with seeing the parts of a line and how they go together. And as always, have a very happy day.